Okay, in the third set, we started out with Support Your Local Bands, and we had a newcomer to the show, Allie Evanson, from Detroit. She is an indie folk rock gal, and that was her single, Porch Light. And if you would like to find out more about Allie Evanson, you can find her on Bandcamp with her other material. And then the hip clip of the week is our old chum, William Westwater and his band Dark Symphonia and their new video, Into the Ruins. He's always cool. Okay, and then we went into cult classics and we started with Iggy's Lust for Life, which was released on 9977. Followed by the Tom Tom Club, Genius of Love, which was released on 9581. And then, just because I seen it and I like it, I thought I'd throw in Split Ends, I Got You. And that was released on January 21st, 1980. It was the first single from their breakthrough album, True Colors. And on August of 80, they went on AMM and went internationally. Then we had Adam and the Ants, Prince Charming, self-title, from 9381 was its release. And The Buggles, Video Killed the Radio Star, which was released as a single on September 7th, 1979. And Adam Ant and the Buggles are going out to Five Day Girlfriend because I know she likes them. All right, then we had the Buzzcocks Ever Fallen in Love. And that was from 9, well, September 19th, or no, September 1978. And it was released as a single as well. Then we had Wouldn't It Be Good. Nick Kershaw from his debut album, Human Racing, 1984. Then, <clears throat> if you're a, a female Facebook friend of mine, more than likely over the years, you have received a video on your birthday of the, the Alter Images Happy Birthday. Well, this is Altered Images, I Could Be Happy. Their first single from their second LP, Pinky Blue. And it was the second top 10 hit, and it peaked at number seven in December of 81, and it stayed there for 12 weeks. The next, we had Love and Rockets, Earth, Sun and Moon album, debuted on September 9th, 1987, and we've seen the cool song from that, No New Tale to Tell. We used to do that around the distant few. And then we had English Beat, Save It For Later, which uh, appeared as a single April 2nd, 1982, and it eventually ended up on their album, Special Beat Service. Then we had Yazoo, Nobody's Diary. That came out in May 83, and that was their last single. Then we had, we celebrated the Ramones Mondo Bizarro album, which came out September 1st, 1992. It was their 12th album, and we seen the video for Poison Heart. Then <coughs> we seen the side project of Robert Smith of The Cure and Stephen Severin of Susie and the Banshees called The Glove. And their album Blue Sunshine was released September 8, 1983. And Robert and Stephen did that as a side project. And Stephen was from Susie and the Banshees. And he got Budgie's ex-girlfriend, Jeanette Landry, to sing the majority of tracks. And Robert brought in Andy Anderson on drums 
after he had just joined the cure. So, and that was uh, Smother Me With Kisses, I believe. Anyways, then after that, we had Bad Religions, Stranger Than Fiction album, came out September 6, 1994, and we've seen 21st Century Digital Boy, it was their eighth album, and it was the first released on Atlantic Records, because you know that <clears throat> they had their own label, one of the dudes in the band. I can't remember which one. Then last but not least, Stabbing Westward. What do I have to do? From MTV's 120 Minutes Live Special from 1998. That song was on their Wither, Blister, Burn, and Peel album that came out in 95. And that concludes this week's show. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next week on The Alternative 120 Minutes. Be good to yourself and others. There's enough assholes out there already. Take care.